quick question about um, the, the ways that the arcade, um, because I know a lot of what's popular now are arcade bars, places that you know aren't just a pure arcade experience. I didn't know if that was just a business business decision or if you uh, had a maybe a philosophical reason for setting up your arcade as just a pure arcade, at least for what the way it appeared in the movie. It was, I guess, early 2000, it was before September 11th, and we were on tour, and we, I took ideas from every bar, arcade type thing that I saw, but there was no bar paid yet, mm -hmm. nothing like that. And I had a collection of arcade games already, and I said, I'm gonna open a bar arcade. I would have been the first one, even pre-date arcade. And I bought a building, four-story hotel in the ghetto of New Jersey, and for some reason, hey, watch it, New Jersey is not one big ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> and it had a liquor license, and the plan was is to have an arcade slash bar and a live music venue. Well, unfortunately, there was a stabbing in the parking lot. Oh, right? No, it's not a ghetto. No, it's not a ghetto. No. <laughs> and the guy died. That was the that was the Polybius conspiracy actually. <laughs> right. So uh, the liquor license they wouldn't give me the liquor license. So I said, all right, the dream is over, or the dream moves on, and I decided to move on without the liquor. Try it, and see if we can do it. And again, I don't know how I was as fortunate as I was, but the first two years were crazy, and explosive. Uh, but I didn't sit around and play. I didn't sit around and play games like I did the third year after meeting these guys. <laughs> and we just, we, we were doing so well, I didn't need the liquor. And then uh, it all depends on how much time I put into it. If I put a lot of time into it, we got a lot of attention. I think, uh, I think that is a good story. Uh, how I said earlier that things just happened really lucky. Like the Today Show called us to feature uh, for the King of Kong. The uh, bringing the Donkey Kong so he could play it. And that was the, that was the day we met. <coughs> and, uh, remember, like it was yesterday. You uh, it was outside the studio in Manhattan, and we just started busting chops right out of the gate. The first chance we got to start teasing each other. See, what's unique is, as you know, I let's say I have a gift, whether it's sarcasm or picking on or having fun, and I can do that with any of the guys. And I mean, everybody, they all just have a reaction that's not adequate. He's the only one I ever met. He fires back. <laughs> Whenever I hit at him, he hits back at me. So that's why we get along so good. Of course, you guys I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, thank you for the question.